How to weave in crochet ends. I have the wrong side of my work facing me and I've created a contrasting color tail. I'm going to weave this tail underneath the legs of these stitches on the wrong side of my work. So I'm starting by just getting my Susan Bates finishing needle underneath both legs of each stitch that I'm working through the back of. I try to get a few stitches on my needle where possible before drawing through and I'm using my left thumb to apply a bit of pressure to just to prevent me from drawing that yarn through too tightly. I'm going to continue on a bit further down this row getting that finishing needle underneath the back legs of these stitches. I'm going to draw through one last time while working in this direction. I'm going to give my work a bit of a stretch to make sure it's not too tight. I'm now going to turn my work and work in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go over that final leg I worked under to wrap it around and then just travel back in the direction I came from down this row. Again, getting my finishing needle and my tail underneath the legs of each stitch at the back of my work. Again, be mindful whenever you draw through that you're not drawing that tail through too tightly or it may distort your fabric. All right, I have reached the end of my row. If you so desire, you can do this one more time simply by turning your work again and working through the row below. I'm going to leave it as it is though. And so I'm ready to trim my tail. I'm going to snip that yarn as closely as possible. And once I give my fabric a good stretch, that tail's going to embed itself into the fabric. And that's how you weave in crochet ends.